Guys, when I started the gym many years ago, you know, I was skinny, unconfident, nervous, anxious, shy, all that stuff, okay? You know, and I wanted to go because I wanted a, a better physique. I didn't like what I saw in the mirror, okay? And I also had, you know, like I said, I had no confidence. You know, I wanted to increase my confidence and my attraction to women as well. But when I turned up to the gym, you know, I didn't really know what I was doing, okay? I knew a little bit, but I didn't really know what to exactly do, okay? So that just led to me, you know, I was in my head, you know, I thought everyone's judging me constantly, constantly laughing at me. If someone had like a little smirk or smile, you'd instantly think, oh, they must be laughing at me, you know? Oh, my, my weights are too light, you know? You know, really feeling that like a, a low place, you know? A low place in life. But the good thing is, guys, you know, when you're at a low place, this is where everything can be gained, okay? And what I did was, I knew there was that fear, you know, and that anxiety in the gym. But I knew the way to, you know, overcome that was to beat it back, okay? So when I walked in, you know, and I felt the fear in my body, you know, a bit of anxiety looking around, I just accepted it, okay? Accepted the situation. I didn't run away from it. I just kept myself in that space. Put my headphones in, you know, blasted my music. Linkin Park or whatever, some, some rock music. Could have been some EDM kind of music at the time, to be honest with you. But just blasted it, okay? Shut everyone else out while the music was on. It was just me just doing my thing, okay? Just following my workout on my phone. And just got on with it, okay? And this is the key thing here is, you know, you accept the situation for what it is. And you just keep doing your thing, okay? And then you keep showing up to the gym, keep showing up to the gym, keep showing up to the gym, keep showing up to the gym. Repeated exposure to that, you know, fear and anxiety. And guess what happens? After a while of showing up consistently, you know, constantly pushing through that, you know, challenge yourself with a workout, blasting your music, shutting everyone else out. Guess what happens? The pendulum swings, you know. You no longer have that as much, you know, fear, anxiety of being in that environment. No, it's changed, you know. You start to become comfortable with this situation, you start getting more confidence in yourself from pushing yourself in the gym as well. You know, more confidence knowing, you know, you push through this fear and you can handle it. You know, you no longer have those thoughts like, oh, this person was looking at me or, or judging me or laughing me. No, guys, it all dissipates. It goes away. And why? Because you've constantly put yourself in that environment which was uncomfortable at the start. But it's not anymore. You know, you come to the realization no one actually cares what you're doing in the gym, okay? No one turns up to the gym just to be like, well, I hope I see that guy today so I can just stare at him and laugh at him. No. Everyone's focused on themselves. Everyone's there to bear themselves, okay? And I know you do see some some people just on their phones, you know, not really doing much, but that's on them, okay? If they're not serious about their workout, that's on them, you know? Working their thumbs more than their biceps, you know? And guys, you're only going to get stared at in the gym if you're doing some weird stuff, like humping the floor or something, okay? In that case... That's on you, okay? But if you're just doing what most people do, just, you know, just a workout, a normal thing, you know, you're not going to get stared at. You're not going to get stares. It's all up here in your head. And if for any reason there is people laughing at you, I don't know, it could be for anything. Maybe you do some, some exercise slightly wrong or whatever. Just ignore them, okay? You know, the third party people in the gym, you don't know these people. You don't know that person's name. You shouldn't care about their opinion, you know? You should put no... You should put zero value on their opinion. They don't pay your bills. They're not your friend, you know. They're not part of your goals and purpose. Therefore, block them out. They don't exist to you. Focus on yourself. Get your stuff done, okay? You know, just a quick point. You're so many of us put so much value on other people's opinions. People we don't even know or people we'll, like we probably won't even see again. What is that about? Guys, stop putting so much value on these people's opinions, okay? You know, if they're laughing at you and being nasty to you, they're probably not the type of person you would, you'd want to hang around with and, and, you know, would want to be a friend with anyway, okay? So don't put any value on their opinion. You know, everyone's, like, throwing out opinions, everyone, like, being so entitled, like, oh, you should listen to my opinion. Why? Why should I listen to your opinion? I don't even know who you are. Go away. And to be honest, I think the best way to, you know, beat that fear back and anxiety, and not only in the gym, but any other environment, environment or, or situation it's just to slowly you know expose yourself to it okay and do that consistently and why because the more time you spend in that you know uncomfortable situation the more you the more you become accustomed to it okay you get more comfortable 
And then all of a sudden, you get to a point and you're not even scared, you know, scared of anything, you don't have any anxiety, you're just like, yeah, I've seen this a thousand times, you know, I'm comfortable here now. And I think, yeah, that's, that's the best way to do it. I hope this video has helped some of you guys. And with that being said, if you enjoyed this video, why not watch another one? I'm sure you'll enjoy it. You got this.